Wow, now I know why dating is haram. Let me explain to you detailed how we actually believe that we're in love, but it's actually not love. Okay, so there is a doctor that was actually talking about how when we look at the opposite gender, we actually get a chemical imbalance that makes us infatuated with that person. And then therefore we think that we're in love with them. It's not love. Even that butterflies that we feel in our stomach, that's a chemical imbalance. It is not love. And after we start talking to them and we actually get used to them, our brain releases another chemical in imbalance, still not love. Even after we get addicted to them and we feel like we can't live without them and we get withdraws, like legitimately withdraws, as if we were doing drugs, still that is not love. All of that is just our brain tricking us because it's chemical imbalance. What's going on guys? Your boy Red Pill Canuck back again with another YouTube video. In today's show, we got Lonely Fans model facing financial crisis. Oh boy. <laughs> we all knew that was gonna eventually happen. We got a 40 year old influencer who, who thinks she found the fountain of youth and we're gonna take a little uh, step into the office of Mr. John Deloney and uh, apparently he has a caller with a sexless marriage. All that and Ratchet Cinema coming right after the intro. Let's get into it. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain. And welcome to another episode of the Red Pill Connect video on the Red Pill Connect podcast channel. I got that mixed up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to another video. This is a podcasted format, so obviously the video is going to be long. That's what she said. Uh, but again, um, shout outs to the Quick Hits channel. That's going to basically uh, make it a little easy for you. A little bit more a digestive content if you don't want to listen to this long video. Uh, it is more of a bite-sized format. And yeah, let's get that a little lined up there. <laughs> there we go. Um, and also we got the timestamp, timestamp squad, stand up, we got you covered down there as well. So, let's get right into the show. Today's first article is, where's my article? Model who made 400,000 pounds. Wow, we're going to London, England. <laughs> Shout out to England. I believe because it's pounds. So, oh, actually, she's from Britain. Mm hmm. <laughs> Land of the crumpets. <laughs> Model who makes 4,000 pounds on Lonely Fan faces cost of living crisis as men pay less for prawn. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Just when you thought inflation had no bounds and you thought the X industry was a safety net. Oh no no no. Oh no no no. Even them females gonna be facing it. Selling their cooch for half price. <laughs> ah. Oh Finella I'm 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 really gonna butcher this name. Finella Fox, 28, a British Lonely Fans creator who has blown up on the internet, on the interweb. Sadly, she noticed that the cost of her living crisis is meant men are paying less for prawn than they used to. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. The cost of living crisis is hitting everyone. This even is affecting the adult industry. Yes, I know how to read. I have to block that out because most of my videos have a nice yellow dollar sign. <laughs> Apparently, it's not suitable for some advertisers. And yeah, so I got to be careful what I say. Anyway, Vanilla Fox, one of the top creators on Lonely Fans, 
is one of the top creators on OnlyFans. But even she has to make adjustments to keep up with the times. The 28-year-old from Bristol, shout out to... I, I gotta get a button for... Bruh. There we go. Well, we'll pretend that said bruv. Alright? Don't kill me, guys. <laughs> the 28-year-old from Bristol... Shot to fame online after embracing the all-natural look on the subscription-based site. And now is one of the top 1% of creators worldwide. Shout out to her. Wow. I can't even get to that level. Do I have to start stripping now? Is that what it's going to take to get to 100k subs? And at least some likes and some views. Is that what's going to take? Do I have to go on, Lon on Lonely Fans? Is that what I really got to do? Believe it or not, I actually have a Lonely Fans page. <laughs> it's not what you think, guys. It's not what you think. I'm not that desperate for views. Um, I actually ended up claiming my name on there because um, I actually got took a, took a page out of Coach Greg Adams' book. Um... Reason being is because a lot of people will take your name on certain sites. So, I would rather have me and have an empty page. Maybe I'll throw some videos up there. Who knows? Uh, some of these uh, exclusive videos that uh, YouTube does not want to give me any revenue for. Bruh. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I end up claiming my name there because the last thing I need... Is some fat Chad calling himself Red Pill Canuck and associating with me. No, I ain't doing that. Anyway, continuing. But she, uh, but she has noticed that men are paying less for prawn. That means she has to slash her prices. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> there you go. I always knew that was going to happen. And I told people that I knew... Just keep, just keep holding on. I keep holding on. If you're looking for a female and she gives you a price and she doesn't want to negotiate, walk away and I guarantee she'll call you back and give you 50% off. While Fenella used to charge 22 pounds, now she's only charging four for her content and negatively, it's negatively affecting her income. Wow! Dude, that is more than 50%. Whoo! Wow. Yep, winter is coming. Shout out to Kevin Samuels who actually punded that. Yep, winter's coming, Kevin. This is for you, bruh. He's actually with the queen now. And we'll give it one more. And there we go. <laughs> I had to charge around my... Pr I had to change around my pricing. For example, I'm no longer selling a video for 17 pounds, but 15, 13 is now 10 pounds... And nine pounds and videos are eight pounds, she explained. Wow. She ain't bad. She she ain't bad. I I I would smash. I I definitely smash, but she she is she is thick. She is thick. She is natural. But yeah. I ain't paying twenty-two pounds. Uh I'm in it. I'm probably in it for seven. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll, I'll give her. I'll I'll give her ten. I'll I'll give her ten. Should I give her ten? Yeah, I'll give her ten. <laughs> anyway, continuing. I noticed. I also noticed. I struggled to get subscribers at full price of twenty two pounds. When a couple of years back, there were hundreds of people paying thirty five pounds to subscribe to my page. I find a four pound sale does the best and I think a lot of men don't want to pay the nine pounds or more for subs right now. 
other models I've spoken to are noticing they have to pay around the same price too. So it's affecting there now. So guys, I always knew this was going to happen. It was going to eventually creep into Lonely Fans territory. Inflation has no... They, they pre, inflation pretty much has... It takes no prisoners. There is no escape from the recession. Nope, 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 nope. Everyone's going to take a hit. Unless you're the 1% and obviously not this 1% here. When Finella understands that times are tough for everyone, changing her prices is meant that she hasn't been able to give herself a pay raise and her rent recently has gone up in price. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. Uh oh, oh. oh no. Oh no. Yep. She's going to be selling that for... I guarantee she's going to be selling that for even cheaper. Give it a, give it about a year. Hopefully she saved her money though. The British lass has made over £400,000 on Lonely Fans since rejoining in February of 2020. And she believes that she could one day make more than £870. But for now, but this is now proving to be more difficult as she originally thought. Okay, she has to shave there. Definitely she has to shave there. Okay, I understand you want to be a natural beauty. You ain't bad, but you got you got to shave there. Kind of makes you wonder what's going on but elsewhere, but I'm not going to do there. Anyway. She ain't bad. I don't like the little freckles there, but anyway. That's just me. Everybody has their own taste, okay? She explains my income has remained around 15,000. Around 13,000 pounds a month since last year. It's not easy to get a pay raise at the moment. It feels like... Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop here for a second. You're making how much? So you're, you made over 400,000 thousand pounds since rejoining in february of 2020 so about a year a year and a bit that's a lot of money how how much is that in canadian dollar we're gonna do it in uh, canadian slash us so four hundred thousand pounds uh british i can't even spell British pounds to USD. Okay, in Canadian... Okay, I put in... This is actually pretty funny. I put in USD, but for some reason Canadian dollars came up. <laughs> but yeah, that's like half a, half a million dollars. And in, in, in the U, in US... How much is that in US? Where's US at? Why can't I find US? Uh, I'm going too fast. There we go. So $460,000 in, in US. So that's still a lot of money for some people. Some people will probably never even see that amount. Yet you're complaining? Like seriously? Whoops. Wrong article. Are, like seriously. You're complaining. Okay. I, I got to... Uh, what is your living expenses, ma'am, that you that you feeling a pinch? It could be that she's used to this amount of money. I don't know. But trust me, I could survive on that amount easily. Given, 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 given. And who knows? Maybe she did save some money from before. That would be smart if she did. Uh, I, if I were her, I would probably put a lot of money aside because... This, this body ain't going to last forever. Even that has a shelf life. Anyway. Okay. It feels a lot before. My rent has recently gone up and I felt like that my accommodations wanted me to leave so that they could put up the rent even higher from 1,800 pounds to 2,100 pounds a month. 
You're making over 400,000 pounds and you're complaining about this? Are you kidding me? But I managed to negotiate and get it for 1845 a month, which is still very high in my opinion for a two bedroom apartment. Um try moving to the to New York, ma'am. New York is when we actually showed that in our, our, our previous video. You're looking at about four grand in New York. So I don't know what you're crying about. Anyway. Thankfully, thankfully it's not all doom and gloom as Fenella has noticed that her price cuts have helped encourage sales amongst her subscribers. While some lonely fan malls can't ch change, are changing their prices, Fenella thinks that her job has more fun when she has more subscribers, of course. Guys, let me know in the comments below how many of you guys would smash. She's, she ain't bad. She's not bad. I, I, like, I like my women natural, I'm not gonna lie. But you gotta do something about these pits, honey. Like, you gotta do something about that. I don't know if that's a shadow, but you gotta do something about that there. Anyway, where am I? She also noticed a shift in the kind of content that she does best. I find more tease content isn't doing well as it used to. For example, a 10 minute strip tease video from cloth to nude isn't getting as much sales as it used to, she shared. I find my aunt wants more hardcore content. Of course! And you are, are, are you really surprised? Are you seriously surprised? You have Prawn Hub to compete with, and that's free. So obviously, they're going to want something a little bit more, a little bang for their buck. <laughs> no pun intended, or actually, if there is, who knows. <laughs> I think everyone's nervous about, our, about October price increase, and is very interested in seeing how things change on Lonely Fans. Successful on OnlyFans is all about keeping up with what's going on in the world and adapting to it. If you aren't always ready to adapt, you won't last. Which is actually very true. I'll give her credit for that one. And yeah, wow. Interesting, interesting. Is this the same person? She actually looks different than here. Is it the same person? Oh yeah, it is the same. Okay, anyway. Next story, I am almost 40, but I look younger than I did was in my 20s. It's all down to one trick. There she is there. I'm, I really suck at names, honestly. Adriana K, we're going to call her K, 39, has opened up about her useful look as she claims she looks younger now than she did when she was in her 20s. The influencer says it's down to the number of things number of changes in her life she's an influencer what kind of influencer are you ma'am is it of the lonely fans variety <laughs> a woman approaching her 40s claimed that she looks younger now than she did around 20 years ago and i don't know what the hell this is but anyway adriana k feels that though she looks looks much older in her younger years as she has was to cope as she was cooked up and miserable now a 39 year old has transformed herself and it's all down to one thing timerick really okay <laughs> timerick you guys don't know what Timurk is? Yeah, Google it for you. This is what we do. We we learn here. Turmeric. So basically, it's a powder. Um, it's actually a spice. Um, they usually use it in uh, Indian cuisine, as as uh, far as I know. And let's see what's good for. Turmeric is is especially the most active compound. Cur curumin. <laughs> Have many scientific proven health benefits, such as uh, potential to improve heart rate and prevent 
against Alzheimer's and cancer. It's a potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. It also may help in improving symptoms of depression and arthritis. Hmm. Interesting. Is it good to drink turmeric every day? I know you guys are going to ask this. Most researchers involving adults uh, said it's safe for... So it's actually safe. And you can actually have pure power three times a day. Generally research... Ah. Huh. Interesting. So I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised. She said it's turmeric. Okay. She felt she was given a second life when she left her husband at 32 and moved to Germany to pursue fashion. Reading self-help books and minimizing stress, some of these things that Adriana tried to incorporate in her life. Wait, is this the same person? Okay, she looks weird. Oh, this is her in her 20s. Okay, I'll give her a round of applause. She actually does look better now. But but then again, but then again, but then again. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let us not celebrate yet. Did she have any work done? That is the question. Was any work done on her? To look from this... To this kind of makes you wonder these these pretty much look like extensions here though I don't think this is her real hair I could be wrong but it doesn't look like her real hair but anyway let's let's continue let's see let's let us see what uh how she improved on her life okay so Struggling with fertility issues in her 20s, Adriana is now trying to have a baby with her new husband, Kamel K. I can't pronounce that name either. Actually, is that her saying? Oh, okay, that's, that, that's her. Okay, that's her last name. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Adriana says that she owes her perfect complexion and health mindset, simple skincare routine, and nutritious diet. This includes turmeric in, on most meals. She said in her 20s, she had, an uh, she had this impression that she had to prove that there was... What? In my 20s, I always had this impression I had to... I had something to prove and there it was so many expectations. Now I am more at peace with myself and have stopped stressing. There's her hubby there. Maybe that is actually her real hair. It could be a real hair. See here, it didn't look like a real hair though. It looks too straight. It, it looks, it looks doesn't look real. But here it kind of does. So, shout out to her, I guess. All right. She added that I started reading self-help books and decided to stop looking for validation from other people. My skincare routine is very simple. I swear by superfoods, water, and SPF. The last time I was stressed was when I went through my divorce in 2016. I've been through IVF and had miscarriage twice, but I keep a positive mindset as it's something that is under my control. Kamal and I are still trying, but plan to adopt if it doesn't work. Wow, I did not expect this. I honestly thought this was going to be something stupid, but... Yeah, wow, I'm actually... A round of applause again for her. So there are some of you normal women out there. Very rare. But, yeah. Hmm. I'm, I, I, I gotta admit I was wrong. I honestly thought this article was gonna be stupid. But anyway. <laughs> Six years ago when I... When she was... What? Six years ago... When she divorced my ex, Adriana began her career as a visual merchandiser. She also owes her beautiful looks and her petite stature as if she only and she's only five foot four. The fashion fan also wonders if sleeping without a pillow has stopped her from developing wrinkles. Hmm. How do you sleep without a pillow? Is that uncomfortable? But then again, you are kinda tilted like this, so Maybe? I don't know. Another thing she swears by drinking loads of water 
and pl <laughs> plastering on sunscreen for a fall flawless complexion. Ladies, I hope you're taking notes here. Because this female is giving some good points to help y'all. So, ladies, get your pen and paper out and take notes. Not only us, see, we, we teach here. We teach here. Ladies, love you ladies. But you can have, you can learn a lot from this lady here. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Adriana also, Adriana says she wouldn't say no to Botox, although she never had before. Yeah. When it comes to her diet, she enjoys loads of superfoods, including turmeric, black cumin, oil, millet, and nutritional yeast. She only eats two to three meals. What? She only eats meat. Oh, jeez. Wow. That would have been bad. I was just wondering. <laughs> she only eats meat two to three times a week and only and won't touch process. So she doesn't, she's not into processed food. So y'all at uh, Taco Bell and Chipotle and all these dino chicken nuggets and tombstone pizzas and you think you're actually, you know, doing well for yourself? You are what you eat. I actually, my mom told me this long time ago and I never really understood the concept until I got older. But whatever you put into your body, it's going to show. So when you're putting Burger King and all these fast food garbage in there, and that's why, let me go full screen here. See, that's why a lot of you have gained a lot of weight and tried to blame it on lockdowns and pandemics and being stuck in the house with your face condom on. You're blaming it on that, but in reality, you're eating crap and you're wondering why. <laughs> This lady here, and I will give her another round of applause, she actually does look better than she did when she was in her 20s. Probably in her 20s, she was eating garbage like y'all out there. Eating McDon Mickey D's and Burger King and all this nonsense, putting all this crap in your body because y'all are too lazy to cook. You're all too cheap to buy better food for yourselves. And you're too lazy to do anything that's going to benefit you. <sighs> that's my rant for today. <laughs> Why can't I go back? There we go. Okay, I lost my spot again. <laughs> uh, there we go. So Adriana concludes, as 40 is around the corner, I anticipate... I I appreciate, uh, I, I'm apprehensive, uh, but I'm happy. I'm a, she's apprehensive. Sorry, I can't pronounce that. I'm apprehensive, but I am happy. I'm so happy that I found stability and self-confidence. So again, I underestimated this article and I apologize. But yeah, this is some, this is some good taste. Even for me, like I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I don't eat the best. So I'm being honest, but I try to eat I, I try to stay away from processed foods. I used to have like, you know, cold cuts and all that stuff. I, I stay away from that stuff. And yeah, it's, it's not good for you. And also keeping a healthy mindset. And I'm going to be very honest with you. And like all joking aside, I do this whole YouTube thing. One, because I like, I like teaching. I like helping people. But this is actually a stress reliever for me as well. Y'all wonder, probably wondering why I do videos every day and I don't have as much views as other content creators and wondering why I don't quit. I, I don't watch numbers. I Let me go full screen again. I really don't watch numbers, to be honest with you. The only time I was watching numbers when I was trying to get monetized and I've already got to that threshold already and, you know, round of applause for me because obviously getting to over a thousand subscribers is not easy and I want to thank you all who actually um, subscribe and you know do watch my videos and whoever didn't subscribe you know maybe you're not ready to subscribe, subscribe yet but all joking aside I do this as a stress reliever and the way the world is today there's a lot of stress again you got inflation you got recession you got a whole bunch of nonsense of which we can't control 
So if you guys can take anything out of this video, um, find something that you enjoy and some something that will take the stress off from the everyday and that will give you some sort of escape. That's what I do. And that's why I love doing this whole YouTube thing. It's not about the numbers for me, honestly. It would be great to hit 100,000 subs. Uh, that is my goal. But I don't stress as as much as a lot of people do think. Anyway. Yeah. Continuing to the next story. But you know what? Before we do that, let's lighten up the mood a little bit. And you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, it's Ratchet Cinema time! Hit the intro, please! today's episode of Ratchet Cinema, we got a familiar face, but definitely not a familiar body. Yes, guys, you're reading it right. Martha Stewart, wholesome Martha Stewart, 81 years old, goes topless to promote coffee brand. <laughs> You can't make this ish up. Nasty boy, stand up. It is your time. <laughs> By the way, how many y'all smashing Martha Stewart at 81? <laughs> oh my god. This world just keeps on getting more and more crazy. <laughs> But let's get into the article. Let us let us let us be fair. Let us not prejudge. There's a video. <laughs> Y'all ready for the video? <laughs> uh, let's play the video. Let's get the volume up here. Hi there. I'm just enjoying the natural flavor of pumpkin spice from Green Mountain Coffee Roasters and nothing else. Literally, just look at this, a thing of natural beauty. No. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God, let's continue. No, not me, my Green Mountain Coffee Roasters pumpkin spice coffee. It's made with natural flavors. That means they've stripped away the artificial and left nothing but goodness. What can I say? We have a lot in common. I guarantee some of y'all be smashing. <laughs> oh, let's get into the article really quickly. Martha Stewart 81 rocked only a simple white apron and a promotional video for Green Mountain Coffee. And let me clear that. In an Instagram video uploaded Thursday, the businesswoman cradled a cup of coffee while wearing nothing but a smock in her kitchen. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm just okay. This is the okay. This is just what was said in the video. Y'all be smashing this. Don't lie. <laughs> she continued. Where is it made from natural fur? Okay, we, that's, that's in the video there. Okay. Stewart, 1.7 million followers were quick to praise the chef for her creativity and incredible physique. <sighs> Bruh. I don't know. The world's gone. Don't get me wrong, she does look good for her age, though. But then again, a lot of plastic surgery and whatnot. The neck always tells. See? See what's going on with the neck there? You could do whatever you want to the face. But the neck, the neck never lies. The 81-year-old is known for her youthful looks. 
Martha, you just get better and better, one fan commented. Martha, you have killer shoulders, another chimed in. However, other fans offered some advice for her new cooking apparel, with one person saying, Martha, a word of ex experience advice, don't cook bacon with that. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh boy. The single <laughs> single lifestyle maven has is no stranger to come to post in threads online by showing off her ageless features in an interview with New York Times. Stewart gave her best thirst trap tips telling viewers to project fabulous, adding being effort is key okay that's I guess I heard without the makeup when you smash it, that's what you're gonna be looking at fellas but again to be fair she's 81 she doesn't look bad for 81 I wouldn't smash though I know you guys are gonna ask that I wouldn't smash <laughs> however she is <sighs> She's emphasized the importance of skin care and non life. Okay. I never had plastic surgery, she said. I absolutely don't. I absolutely said that. No knife in my neck, back, or thing. You sure about that? I guess a a lot of makeup then. Anyway. <laughs> and she doesn't use filters in TikTok videos in her personal life to alter her appearance. Y'all females in your 20s are going to be... you all. I, I don't understand. Y'all females using filters like crazy. And you have this 81 year old giving you a run for your money. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below I mean, if you would smash this. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I'm done with this. <laughs> Back to the show. really don't know what to say sometimes with society oh my god honestly like i can probably make enough ratchet cinema episodes to last me years because y'all out there are giving me so much content <laughs> Woo. anyway so we're gonna get into mr mr deloney a lot of you guys call him um Johnny Bologna, Johnny Bologna. <laughs> Shout out to CGA on that one. Um, so in today's episode, um, so like we do with the, um, like we do with, um, what the heck is his name again? <laughs> I know I'm bad with names. Anyway, unfortunately, we're not able to play the, uh, we're not able to play the uh, Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Wow, 15 seconds later. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's part of the Dave, uh, Dave Ramsey squad. So, again, we have to play the audio. But uh, we got we got um, got Mr. John up there. So you can just look at him while you're listening to the audio. <laughs> so in today's episode, uh, Caller is actually calling because she's living in a exless marriage. <laughs> Listen, my philosophy is once there is no action in the bedroom, the marriage is pretty much done. It's pretty much done. But, you know, let, let's see what Mr. Baloney has to say. But, by the way, fair use. We're going to invoke our fair use here. Expert of copyrighted material. Can answer circuit. Well, where's my music? Why is my music not playing? There we go. 
Experts to copyright and material may under certain circumstances be quoted verbatim for the purpose of teaching, criticism, reporting, and yada 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 without permission or payment from the copyright holder. So, of course, we have to put that up because they tend to flag videos as such. So there we go. And we're going to change this up here. Where is my... Uh, we're going to get a... By the way, viewer discretion is advised. We got our disclaimer up. You chose to watch this show. We promote no hate or harm here. Of your life choices and whatnot. So if you feel offended at all, it's your choice to be here. You could easily click off. And there's so many other videos to watch on YouTube. Especially this hour. Uh, you can watch some naked yoga if you want. <laughs> Funny thing is, naked yoga has... They're allowed to be on there. But y'all flagging my videos. I don't understand. Anyway. So we're going to change our disclaimer up here. We're going to change it up there. There we go. We're going to have the scrolling here now. Fair use, fair use, fair use. And let's get into the call here. I'm a big fan. Thank you so much. I'm a fan of yours. How can I help? <laughs> Thanks. Well, um, I live in a sexist marriage uh, for over nine years, and I don't know what to do. Um, I'm, I've gained weight. I'm a little depressed. Uh, I don't know what to do. So sexless marriage, it's been sexless for nine years, or y'all been married for nine years, and it's evolved into this? We, we've been married for nine years, and okay. since we got married, it's his libido or his desire has decreased he has been tested his testosterone is low mm -hmm. then we just recently tested and it's high now it's normal but his desire isn't there oh. and you wonder why ma'am you wonder why you said that you gain weight so could it be that he doesn't find you attractive anymore <laughs> Could it be that he can't imagine anybody else while he's trying to rearrange your guts? He can't think of any baristas or any junior college girls out there? Could that be it? And I love how she tried to blame his libido first and his testosterone. Put the, put the blame on the man first, eh? Anyway, continuing. Okay. It's hard for a woman to have um, a higher desire or I guess maybe, I don't know if I'm the only woman that has this in America, but my husband has like zero desires. We have intimacy once every two months, once every month, once every three months. So it's very difficult. Yeah. So you posed several questions there. So number Okay. You know what? Not to be mean, I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but could it be, one, he doesn't have the desire for you anymore? Okay, first of all, let me backtrack, first of all. No, you're not the only woman in America that's facing this. But instead of blaming the guy, because it sounds like she's about to blame the guy, and I guarantee John's going to try to blame the guy. Before doing that, how about looking at yourself and seeing if you are desirable? You said you gained weight. Have you tried to change your appearance a little bit? And ladies, before you jump down my throat and say, Oh, they're married. You're supposed to love her for her and blah, 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 blah. I guarantee if the shoe was on the other foot and your man turned into a blimp. I guarantee, and he bent over and he could not see his salami anymore. I guarantee you'll be creeping until the day, until the dawn. Whoop, whoop. I guarantee. So let's be fair here. But we're going to hear her out here. We're going to hear her out. Because I want to see, I want to see how this is going to go. Everyone, no. Actually, it's it's a big secret, and it's a secret that weighs on the hearts of women, millions of women across the country. It weighs in the hearts and backs of millions of men across the country is this idea of expected libido. Guys are 
the, the cultural narrative is that guys are just these sex crave lunatics that are always wanting to do it and that's all they ever think about and wives are prepped for this well you know he's just gonna and then they get to this marriage with a set of mixed matched expectations and then things just go awry so out of just sheer curiosity what are the things you've tried over the last nine years well um i've tried role playing um i've bought very sexy lingerie um even though i'm not into porn and he was very into porn when we were dating and then suddenly it just he took up all the porn out of the out of the house when we were dating our sex life was awesome when we were dating and then i've even suggested if you want if that stimulates you if you want to watch porn we can try what they're doing and it just i don't know we've even tried to set up a schedule it, it, you know to see if you know such days we can role play and you know we'll meet me at a bar we'll go to a hotel n- nothing and so yeah you got okay so she said she's tried everything, but I, I find something very interesting. She said in the beginning, the sex was awesome. Now, let me go, let me go full screen here for a second. So, usually when people are dating, they care more. And this is just my experience, and I've seen this. And ladies, gentlemen, you can you can ring and chime in on this as well. Usually when people are dating, they tend to take more care of themselves. They hit the gym. They care how they smell. They care about their appearance. They shave. They make sure their shoe, even feet, women, they make sure their shoes matches the thing. Like everybody, like they're in a different mindset when they're dating. But once you get married... That's pretty much all gone. You get too comfortable. You don't hit the gym anymore. Because you know you're stuck with that person. And you know it's not going to get anywhere. So you know what happens to your mentality? Yep. And you know what happens to your libido? And you know what happens to your weight? And you caring about yourself. Yeah, it pretty much all goes down all goes to ish so one thing i noticed that she did not mention is because she didn't mention that she gained weight she made she mentioned in the beginning of the call she's gained a little she gained a little weight i don't know how much weight may they didn't mention about having kids yet so maybe it could be baby weight but then again they've been married for nine years but as soon as they got married they mentioned she mentioned that the libido went down so but she didn't mention about losing any sort of weight. She's quick to blame the guy. Yep. Quick to blame the guy. Yep. And role playing ain't gonna work if you ain't gonna be able to fit in the costume. Unless you're doing role playing as the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> Let's continue. Where's my button not working? There we you go. Got to the point where you're trying to force feed it in there. Um, what? Yeah. Or just you've got to a point where you're trying to make it happen. What does he say? Um, he's very ashamed. Um, we had a huge fight um, a couple of days ago. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. No, of course. And um, he just said that I have to deal with it. And it's difficult. Yeah, absolutely. He probably feels ashamed because you're pushing him. You're you're probably putting him under pressure. You're trying to blame him. I haven't heard what you've done on your end. Role playing and doing all that stuff is not really going to do anything. What about your physical appearance? You didn't mention how... You, you try to change up your appearance a little bit, except for the role-playing thing, but, you know, costumes don't do ish unless you're wearing a mask. You didn't mention how, you know, you tried to, you know, you, you worked out. You tried to change your hair. You tried makeup. You didn't mention any sort of 
alterations to your appearance, but instead you were talking about other stuff, and you wonder why this man says deal with it, because you're probably putting pressure on the poor guy. I would say the same thing too. And I guarantee he's probably banging somebody on the side. Which is why he probably don't have interest. Probably a younger version of you. A more fit version of you. Maybe that's why he doesn't have the interest he did before. Continuing. We've, uh, you know, we're, we've been trying to have a baby, but like I told him, we need to try. If we're trying to have a baby, we haven't been able to conceive in five years, but... Oh boy. Okay, so they she doesn't have any they don't have any kids. So she gained the weight because she got too comfortable. See, that's what happens when you get married. And I'm not I'm ladies, 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 ladies before you jump down my throat again. I'm not only saying you. Both men and women get comfortable when they get married. Or when they're in a serious relationship or whatever you want to call it. When they start to feel comfortable, they feel comfortable all around because they figure, you know what? I don't need to hunt anymore. I secured my spot. I don't need to look for anybody. This person ain't going to leave me. So I can let myself go. I can be myself. No, you can't. You always have to look good for yourself and for your partner. And I'm talking about men and women both. Fellas, once you get your the girl you want, if you decide to get married, I advise against it, but if you decide to get married, if you think you found the one, the, the girl you think you know that, that she's good or whatever, keep your routine. Keep working out. Keep your appearance. Don't be a slob. Don't have that, don't fall into that trap of body positivity and all that nonsense. And you basically have a dad bod. Dad bods ain't cool, okay? It ain't cool. I find it basically just an excuse. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not in the best of shape. But at least I still hit the gym once in a while. When, my vi when, when I do videos for you guys... When my videos are editing, like they're rendering, I'm on the treadmill. I don't just sit here. I, I get, I, I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly being productive. So make sure, and this is for you, this is a thing for you too, ladies. Make sure that you're, you're keeping yourself looking. You feel better about yourself too. It's not about finding somebody else. It's about your own mental state how you see yourself make yourself look good and also make your significant other look good anyway continuing we need to do our part right so i i just feel lost i feel very lonely yeah i feel very alone abandoned emotionally i've never ever cheated on my husband i've never wanted to do that and i don't want to do that ever so number one, I want to applaud you for reaching out and being vulnerable, okay? Thank you. Thank you for honoring me. Okay, you know what? I wasn't making fun of her, okay? Lighten up, guys. The thing is, is that she's talking about her, 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 her. What about what her husband is going through? All she mentioned throughout this whole call is that he has a libido issue. And that they had an argument and he, she had to deal with it. That's all she said. But everything is about her, 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 her. Me, 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 me. Not us. Not us. Me, 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 me. I feel alone. I am depressed. That's not a good sign. And by the way, um, based on what she's saying here, 
I, I don't know what to tell you guys. What do you guys think? I think this marriage is pretty much done. Call the pallbearer. Call the priest, rabbi, wherever y'all believe in. Cheest. Cheest himself. Shout out to Cheest. Chime them bells. This marriage is pretty much done. But that's just me. But I would love to hear what John has to say about this. And I love how he starts off, thank you for opening up. But anyway, let's give him the fair shake here. You with your trust there, okay? Thank you. The second thing is, is trite as this sounds, this is more than likely not a Valentina issue, okay? And I want you to, I mean, high praise to you for giving it all you had. And if you really were trying to work through, if it was... Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised that he's going to go push it on the husband? Why am I not surprised? To be fair, she tried, okay? I'm not going to be mean. She tried. But how do you know the husband didn't try? And how, what did you really try? Role playing and what? Dressing up in sexy lingerie. That's all you did. How about physical appearance? I didn't hear anything about physical appearance Bruh. at all. You mentioned you gained 20 pounds. And then you mentioned in the beginning of the call that you gained weight after the marriage. So... You went from that to 20 pounds. Now, I'm not trying to body shame here. But you didn't mention anything about changing your appearance. Could that be the issue? Ladies, if the shoe was on the other foot and your man blew up like a damn blimp, would you still fire him in Desirable? Of course, you would probably still, you know, let him slide it in you. But would you be thinking about him or the checkout boy at the grocery store? <laughs> Let's be fair here. Nothing was mentioned about appearance at all. But I want to see where he's going with this. And I already, like, he's already starting to blame the husband. I could just feel it situational based if it was desire based if it was all do fantasy based whatever it happens to be it sounds like you've put in the, the effort and the love and the care and you've tried to really do your part there and I, and I, I salute you okay I want you to hear that um, the other side of you just got to deal with it that's not an acceptable answer to me and so where this, this call is hard for me is I can't talk to him Right. And so my guess is, well, I, I don't even want to, to speculate. There is so much that leads to low libido. There is so much that leads to um, the potential for sexless marriages. And it can be everything from, like you said, shame that's all that's relational based all the way back from childhood. There could be this moment when you became girlfriend, you became what? What? You're going into this man's childhood now? Seriously. <sighs> Let's continue. And he's got a picture of wife, which is really just an elevated mother, and guys don't like to sleep with their mothers, and so it could be this big psychological quagmire. Wait, what? What? <laughs> you you got to be kidding me here. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm blown, actually. Pause. He's not addressing the issue at all. The issue is, and I didn't even speak to the husband, but based on what I, my assessment, and I am not a medical professional whatsoever, it is her appearance. He's not turned on by her anymore. Probably because she gained the weight. She stopped taking care of herself. To be fair, maybe he stopped taking care of himself too. 
Maybe be, be and actually the funny thing is is that usually when you gain weight it does lower your libido a little bit. So because he has a high libido now, maybe he went back to the gym, he's taking care of himself, and maybe he made a trip down to freshman orientation and found him some tail. Could that be the reason why, ma'am? Could that be the reason? But Mr. Deloney decides that, hey, you know what? People don't want to sleep with their moms. <laughs> or childhood. Seriously. Seriously. <sighs> He's leading her to slaughter here. It could be something not testosterone related, but something other, um, more medically, biological related. It could be that he is finding himself attracted to um, men and not women. It could be a hundred thousand different things. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? So you're calling the man gay now? Because he does not find you desirable, ma'am. He must be gay. You know what? He almost had me when he said he wasn't attracted. And I thought he was going to say he wasn't attracted to you. But he had to go say. And, and the funny thing is, though, he pulled back. That's the funny thing. He pulled back when he said it. Let me let me rewind. Let me rewind the tape here. Can I rewind the tape? What happened to my what happened to my phone here? Let me rewind the tape a little bit. Let's rewind the tape. Uh, more medically, biological related. It could be that he is finding himself attracted to um, men and not women. It could be a hundred thousand different things. And we've discussed that. You know, are, are you homosexual? Do you like men? Um, he says no. He's not attracted to men. Um, he's not an, uh, sex a sex um, a drug addict at all. Right. He's not into drugs. He's not cheating. At Ma'am, he's not attracted to you anymore. Like, I don't know what to... Like, seriously. I'm like... I don't know what to say. This marriage is done. He's not attracted to you anymore. Not that he's gay. Not that he's on drugs. He doesn't find you desirable anymore. Most likely because you gained the weight. And you probably are not doing anything about it. Except role playing. That's all you're doing. Bruh. That's all you're doing. Continuing. <laughs> yeah, but, but so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Listen, listen. Listen. This is going to be hard to hear, but he is not a puzzle to be solved. Okay. And he's not a problem to be fixed. He's a person to be with, and what I'm guessing is the amount of shame he is walking through the world with right now is extraordinary. And How do you know he's walking around in shame? Okay. Throughout this whole six minutes so far, and this call is almost done. We're about halfway there. We're probably not going to listen to the whole thing, but... How do you know he's walking around in shame? What... Part of the call mentioned he's walking around in shame. I didn't hear anything about shame. He's probably walking around happy. Maybe he's not happy when he goes home. You never know. Probably not happy when he goes there. Continuing. And people who are feeling shame, think of a backpack full of cinder blocks. And people who are carrying that around say things that they don't mean. They get frustrated at the world just because it, their knees hurt just taking simple steps. And so statements like, you just got to deal with it, that's not a statement of somebody who loves and cares and desires somebody. That's a statement of somebody who's hurting, okay? Yeah. And 
So and he's had a, an eruption problem, so he has ED. Right. He does have that, but... And the root of, of so much of that can be psychological and physical and trauma. It can be so much. Have you guys gone... How about appearance? Like, come on! Stop trying to dance around the situation. Stop trying to baby this woman. Just get to the point and say, you know what? Paul, probably part of the reason why is because he's not attracted to you anymore. I understand that she's a caller. He's trying to be nice. He's trying to be a... I don't know what he's trying to be, honestly. He's not being unbiased at all the way I see it. And I know what he's going to say next. And again, I haven't listened to this thing yet. I'm listening to the first time as I'm listening to you with you guys. How much you want to bet he's going to ask if he went to a marriage? They've been to a marriage counselor. Let's see. Go on to see a counselor. Has he gone to Th see? There somebody you go. Psychologically. There you go. We have um, the first year of the marriage because from the day that we got married, we had intimacy that day, and then five months later, we did it. And I kept, you know. Um, pursuing him and nothing so I did go to a counselor by myself at first he did go for one or two sessions but then he didn't want to he was too ashamed to talk there you go. to a woman about the situation about the fact that he can't get an erection no I don't think he was ashamed to talk to a woman I think he was ashamed because he knows that one this therapist or whatever who is a female may belittle him or belittle the situation and probably take the wife's side. Which usually when you go to marriage counseling, and I've never been, per I never went to marriage counseling. I did never believed in it because I think it's very one-sided. And shout out to all my counselors out there who are probably watching me. I honestly think it's all one-sided. They always take the woman's side and the man is always the one in the wrong. Always. Nine times out of ten. I don't want to say always, but at least 80 to 90%. They make the men the ones that are the one who screwed up. Or at least make them feel like they screwed up. And it's difficult for men than for women. That's what he said. Well, that's I just, understand. again, it's not. That's just guys, him trying to package this in a way that he can wake up every morning because the 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 shame is pretty overwhelming this guy is really railroading this poor guy you clearly said that you can't speak to the man so it wouldn't be fair yeah you're railroading this guy every chance you get <sighs> wow why is my thing not um, working? there we go so he's got to this is not a, you know, I think so. This is a have to. He has to go see somebody and talk about the things that are wound up in his heart and soul. Listen, yeah, you're right. He does have to go see somebody. Freshman orientation. That will fix everything. <laughs> Hell, it helped me. <laughs> and push that's more bricks and more rocks of shame in the backpack that he's already fallen over from right um, what you can do is you can go see somebody to deal with your frustration and your heartache and you can model for him what somebody standing a little bit taller and a little bit taller and a little bit taller looks like okay okay I want to I'm telling you this, but I'm also telling anybody watching this, anybody listening to this, life is too short to live in a sexless marriage. Life is too short to live with bad sex, with people who don't talk to one another, people who don't communicate, people put up for a decade with things that they don't like, they're not comfortable with, things that they wish their partner was doing, just because they, they carry these secrets around, they don't have hard conversations with one another. And so we will go two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years without having hard conversations. And, and suddenly, man, we find ourselves sitting on a couch, again, two inches apart from one another and 2,000 miles away. We're on different planets, right? 
well, I don't think he's on our planet. I think he's at freshman orientation. <laughs> Listen, when you're feeling depressed, you know what? That would be a nice commercial. Are you feeling depressed? Are you feeling lonely? Are you feeling any sort of anxiety? Well, make your way down to freshman orientation. Whatever ails you, it'll solve it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have so much I'm gonna have so much dislikes on this video. <laughs> Let, let's finish this up. And life is too short for that. I'm speaking in the choir here, I know that. The only person, this is gonna be hard to hear, the only person, Valentina, that you can deal with right now, the only person that you can you can you can change is you you can control your thoughts and your actions okay that's probably the best advice he's gave so far the only thing you can control is you make yourself better take care of yourself maybe kill the weight that you gained and maybe just maybe He'll come back to you. Things will be back to normal. I guarantee that's probably what the issue is. Like, I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to body shame. I'm not trying to do anything of that sort. I understand bodies are made differently. People are into different sort of bodies. But he ain't into yours, ma'am. Nope, nope, nope. Probably that's what the problem is. And I guarantee that's what the problem is. Focus on yourself, hit the gym, make yourself look like you guys were when you were dating. When you were dating, bring yourself back to that moment, physically and mentally, and I guarantee he'll turn around. Jeez, I should do this for a living. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing better than John is. And the things that he says, the things that he doesn't respond to, a decade of trying to become his muse is worn your soul out. It's heavy and it's exhausting. And listening to, to this call the is exhausting. For a season to make sure that that doesn't become your shame that you're carrying. That somehow your value is diminished because you couldn't accomplish this thing in somebody else. You have more value than that. You've got more integrity than that. And you are worth more than that. And I want you to model for him what getting well looks like, what being whole looks like. I'm not concerned the fact that he's got libido issues. That happens. I'm concerned that he doesn't care enough about you to go to the ends of the earth to try to be whole and well. And men listening to this, men watching this, there is not an excuse to not be honest with a doctor. There is not an excuse to not go see a counselor and say, help me. I'm telling you, he's really throwing men under the bus. But to be fair, he is right about the doctor thing. Like a lot of, and me me included, I never used to go to doctors as much as I used to. Um, I Now that I'm a little bit older now, I tend to go to doctors now. Because, you know, when you get to a certain age... Things start hap, you know. Things are prone to happen, so you want to catch it right away. So I do advise all men, men, if you're listening to me, make sure you get yourself checked. Um, if you're playing the field, make sure make sure you check your salami. Obviously, no, I'm not. I'm not policing your salami <laughs> paws, but make sure you get. You know, us guys, we have to make sure we have ourselves checked. You know, prostate, all that stuff. Make sure you get that checked, whatnot. And uh, he is right about that, but counselors, nah, no, 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 <coughs> nah. Help me seriously. If counselors are like you, like you're talking to men, nah. <coughs> I don't advise that. But anyway, I'm drowning person that I love more than anything else in the world because of crap.
crap that I'm carrying that happened to me when I was a kid. There's no shame in not being able to put down your own bricks, guys. I'm telling you from a dude that struggled with it. It's hard. It is hard. But when we commit to somebody for the rest of their life and we tell them that we love them, we have an obligation to go to the ends of the earth. How about being unbiased? Like, usually what... You see, guys, this just proves my point. When it comes to any sort of psychologist or psychiatrist or counselor or whatever, they're never unbiased. It's very... Okay, let me take that back. It's very rare that they're unbiased. Very, very, very rare. He's throwing this poor man under the bus and making it look like she's an angel in the situation. Now, to be fair, usually when there's any sort of marital issues, it doesn't take one person to cause that issue. It takes two. It takes two people to cause those issues, too. See? Two. Even my fingers are showing that. Two. Two people. Not one person. And in this situation, it's I guarantee this is actually a two people thing. She's probably not desirable anymore. And he's basically checked out. It's it's cut and dry. Not about going into this man's childhood and all this nonsense and gobbledygook. It's basically straight and simple. She's not desirable to him anymore. And he's basically mentally checked out. And he doesn't find her attractive anymore either. That's what the issue is. This video is almost done, by the way. Or this call. The ends of the earth. That means going to have an awkward check at the doctor. That means sitting down with a therapist, male or female, I don't care. And saying, here's what happened to me when I was a kid. Here's what I see when I look in the mirror. Why does he keep on talking about his childhood? Nothing was mentioned about this man's childhood. You're assuming. And back when I was in school, you know what they say about people who assume? <coughs> Let's leave it there. Here's what a wife meant to me growing up. And all of a sudden, I can't be... I was sh wildly in love, passionately in love while dating. Recklessly erotic when we were dating. And now that we're married, it's, I lost it. Um, the whole role transmission, the whole thing changed. I'm terrified of being a dad. Whatever the thing is. The combination of medical, psychological... Guys, go see somebody. Or women hit the gym. <laughs> You'll hit the gym when you're dating and trying to find a man. But when you get married, you stop going. Let's be fair. Ladies, ladies. Let me know in the comments. If you're married out there, if you're with somebody, are you still going to, or only if you're in a serious relationship? If you're just basically casually dating, that don't count. Okay, fine. To be fair, fine. If you want to, if you want to um, chime in, then chime in. Are you still going to the gym if you're in a comfortable relationship? Probably not. But let, no, seriously, let me know in the comments below because I actually would like to know. And this is not just about sex. This is about depression. This is about anxiety. This is about guys who are worried about being good parents i don't care what your issue is guys get over it the world needs us to step up and start feeling the world needs us to step up and start being vulnerable the world needs us to step up and start being with people not over them connected to them not in charge of them and so i'm i honestly thought i had the re i wish i had the reading rainbow theme song here talk to somebody that will hear you and that will love you seriously that's the best advice you can give 
He didn't solve this woman's problem. You guys realize that, right? Am I the only one who was listening to this whole thing? Well, obviously you guys are listening as well because you're watching me. But am I the only one who realizes that he did not address the situation? He basically blamed it on the guy and told him to go to a counselor. He didn't say anything about, ma'am, how about improving yourself as well? No, he threw the guy under the bus and blamed it on his childhood. Bruh. Seriously. Wow. And when we're done, we're, we're done with Mr. We're done with Mr. Delaney here. I'm pretty much done with him. Let's take that banner down. Where Where is he? Let's get rid of him there. There we go. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say about that one. Jeez, wow. I'm just in shock that how quick... And maybe this maybe is just an isolated situation. But based on what I know, usually when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to... Any sort again, when it comes to counselors or um, any sort of medical professional, it has to do with the mind, especially marriage counselors. It's very one-sided, very very one-sided. And what they'll do is as well. And again, I'm just trying to be fair here. I'm I'm pretty sure they're all not all like that, but majority probably are allegedly. Um, usually what they'll do is that they'll stretch the situation longer than it's supposed to just to get more money out of you. No, I'm serious. It, 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 sometimes that's what they do. They'll say, okay, you know what? Um, try this. Then we'll go to a next session. Try this. We'll go to a next session. And then a year later, you get divorced. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. And again, this stream or this video was sponsored by the Quick Hits channel. Um, this, obviously, this will be diced up as well and put in here just in case you didn't want to listen to the whole thing. And yeah, there also will be some exclusive videos here too. And also, I am going to be having a member's only channel uh that actually is also in the works um so there's gonna be members only content um just kind of trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with the pricing so that way it's affordable for everybody and um there's gonna be some exclusive content that's a little bit too too um too hot for youtube let's just say that <laughs> Anyway, guys, so that's going to be it for today's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe and feed that algorithm and put on that bell for that post notifications. And I will see you all in the next one. Later. I never miss that stack, taking big swings, jam to the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad life. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took the red pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel?